Yes, yes. What is up, beautiful people? I don't know if you know who I am, but my name is Brian Kennedy and I'm all about travel, photography, and giving you guys the best tips and tricks here on YouTube. Today we aren't doing anything short of that. In fact, today we're going to be going over the best video editing softwares for, for YouTube in 2020. I know you may have heard of many softwares that are capable of doing many things, but instead of hearing it from other YouTubers, you're gonna be hearing it from somebody who has been using majority of them. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay. Okay, so the best video editing software for YouTubers in 2020 is Windows Movie Maker. All right, boom, that's done. We're done here, all right? Roll the outro. Oh wait, I don't, I don't, I don't think that was it. What if it were though? Like, do they even still push that software on Windows side? I mean, it was good for like a 10 year old, which I was at the time when I, when I was using it. Let's just get into the actual video. All right, so the first software I'm gonna be talking about in this video is the infamous iMovie from Apple. This software has been in the Apple ecosystem for over two decades, and honestly, in my opinion, is the Windows equivalent of Windows Movie Maker. Since then, this app has got so many updates to where it has been definitely the go-to for a lot of YouTubers today, especially with those who deal with recording and editing their videos right there on their phones. When we're talking about pricing when it comes to iMovie, we're literally looking at zero dollars and zero cents. And honestly, that's about as great as it gets when it comes to post-production softwares. If you have a Mac, you can go straight to the App Store. Make sure that you're logged in though. Make sure you're logged in. Type out iMovie and literally start working on it as soon as it's done downloading. To be honest, I think that Apple has always done a good job making applications that their users are definitely going to be using. And I think another example of applications that a lot of people use is GarageBand. I remember telling myself that I had to buy a MacBook so I can actually use GarageBand to start recording all my music, which I was doing back in the past. And I went ahead and bought this MacBook, 2002 MacBook, it was fat. Like, you know, the thick, the thick ones that were like, literally like, you know, two inches off the ground. But I mean, I didn't really care if it was thick. I mean, I just wanted a Mac computer. When we talk about advantages of iMovie, the first thing that I can think about is compatibility. You're able to work between your computer and your phone effortlessly. And honestly, it really comes in handy when you're doing something like going on a road trip or you're on vacation, but you still wanna bring your, your files with you so you can be able to get your video done while you're on the go. And for me, this definitely comes in handy for a busybody who just really can't sit in one spot for a long time. Another advantage of this software is the fact that it's incredibly user-friendly. And along with this, it's very, 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 very easy for people who don't really know a lot about post-production softwares and video editing as a whole. Okay, so we talked about a lot of the advantages that I think that this iMovie application has. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages that I think iMovie has. The first disadvantage that is obvious to me is the fact that this application is simply not compatible with Windows ecosystem. This hurts because there's a lot of video editors and YouTubers that are out there that aren't using a Mac computer. And there's even more people out there who simply don't like the Apple ecosystem, but they do like some of the applications that come from Apple. Well, vice versa too with Windows. Another another disadvantage that I could think about when I was using this software is the fact that when uploading 4K files, the software didn't sit right with it. And yes, you may say it was a computer that I was using or maybe the application needed an update, but when I was using it, it was perfectly fine on both ends. It's just the application didn't like to do a lot of playback and editing with it. And honestly, may have changed since then and I honestly wouldn't really know because I haven't used it in a while but that's the reason why I had to switch. Other than those little things this app is a perfect application and is used by a lot of YouTubers and is actually one of the top best video editing softwares for YouTubers in 2020. Okay so the second software that I want to talk about today in this video is Adobe Premiere Pro and it's safe to say that this Premiere video editing software is used by the bulk of YouTubers for good reason. It has a lot of features that a lot of these other applications cannot really give you and it gives you that professional vibe that makes you just want to master it. I mean, that's that's how it was for me. Going from that, I guess we could talk about pricing. For a regular subscription, yes, I said subscription, it's $31.49 a month. For me, since I'm a student, I'm paying something towards $20 monthly for all the applications in Adobe's ecosystem, which actually works for me since I use Adobe Edition for audio and sometimes music. I use Photoshop and I use Lightroom for my thumbnails and a lot of my picture editing. Some people may feel like this pricing is simply a crutch for them. And to be honest, I don't really blame them for that. Like I said, iMovie is completely free and can be installed to your Mac computer with no cost. But know that you will get a little bit more out of an application like Adobe's Premiere Pro, which is why that cost is there. While talking about more that 
that you can get out of an application, I feel like the first advantage that I should talk about is the fact that Adobe's ecosystem is the gold standard when it comes to compatibility. What I mean by that is the fact that you can use Adobe products on Windows and even Mac computers, which is perfect when you're someone on a team or you're working with somebody that just doesn't have the same system as you. You guys can simply download the application and go back and forth by just using Premiere Pro. Another advantage out of this software is the fact that it's user-friendly and its keyboard shortcuts are actually way better than the other two softwares that I'm mentioning in this video. Also, Adobe has this color system called Dimitri Color, which is definitely an advantage to me, in my opinion. And I say that because this system gives your footage that professional look that is very, very hard to get out of other softwares. But with that being said, let's get on to the disadvantages of this software. One of the major disadvantages of getting this software is the fact that if your computer is not up to date, rendering your footage can literally take forever. And when I say forever, I don't mean like 10 to 15 minutes. No, I mean like an hour or maybe two hours. The thing is, unlike the other two softwares that I'm mentioning in this video, Adobe's ecosystem just doesn't work as well or as fast as the other applications from Apple. Another disadvantage with this software, at least for right now, is the fact that they have an issue when it comes to their exporting feature. This is where the color grade that you placed on your footage prior to exporting your footage does not come with your exported footage. Does that make sense? I'm sure this is a small thing that could be fixed within the coding of the actual program, but it's worth mentioning when you are thinking about downloading the application right now and you come to that exporting time and you know you have a problem they also have a temporary fix for this so if you guys want to know that temporary fix just let me know down there in the comments and i can honestly do a video for it letting you guys know what you can do to make sure that your color grade gets on your final project but for now let's get into the last best video editing software for youtubers in 2020 the last best video editing software for youtubers in 2020 is indeed yes final cut pro x this software has features that are irreplaceable and definitely can change somebody's mind on which software they want to use for video editing especially if you call for certain things that i'm going to be talking about in the next couple of minutes but yes one of those points is definitely pricing the app built software is priced at $299.99 and ladies and gentlemen, that is not a subscription. So you simply put the money out for this software and you don't have to go back to put some more money into getting it at a later date. When it comes to updates on the software, you get all of them absolutely free, which is an absolute plus. The first advantage I have to talk about when it comes to this software is its pricing. This is a professional post-production software where you have to put in only one cost and you don't have to worry about coming back ever to pay for something else, it's, this is something way different from Adobe's products altogether. I know Adobe used to do this, but since they did their whole CC collection, this is not the same. Another advantage that the software has is the fact that it works perfectly with Apple products. So when it comes to rendering, it's crazy fast. Like honestly, I have a iMac 27 inch 5K and the rendering on that is wild. I mean, I'd be so scared in the past, I'd use keyboard shortcuts just to make sure that I, it was actually rendered. The last advantage of this software is the fact that when it comes to the exporting feature, it is simplified to the max. Those who don't really wanna learn about the technicals or really don't care for the technicals when it comes to exporting your footage, Final Cut Pro actually simplifies it to where you don't even have to care about it. You click one button and that one button is all you need just so you can get your file perfectly. But with that being said, I still have to talk about the disadvantages of this software. And the first one is the same thing as the last advantage. In fact, for me, the simplistic exporting features is just a little too simple for me. And me personally, I would want to have a little bit more control of you know everything that's included in the exporting process especially when the software can have a glitch or like adobe premiere is having right now they're having a problem so me taking control of the exporting process makes it to where i can get my video exactly the way i want it i don't know being able to go inside your exporting settings and change around everything that you need to change around seems like a little bit more it lets me be a little bit more in control when it comes to actually doing more with my video. It's just personal preference at this point though, so don't even really take that as a disadvantage if that doesn't really matter to you. The second disadvantage of this software though, which should be the first, but I'm making it second because I don't know why, I don't really care why, it's whatever, is the fact that it's $299.99. Though it is a good price point for a professional post-production software, the fact that you can't split this up into payments and the fact that you have to fork over all of it at the same time may make it a crutch for some people people that are doing some video editing. So for the YouTuber who's just not beginning, you're technically in the red $299 before you make your first video and before you're even able to recoup that money and make a profit later on, especially if you're not monetized. The last disadvantage for me is a personal thing and it's just that I don't really like Final Cut Pro's color system. I just don't find it as easy as Adobe Premiere's Lumetri color system. 
that's that's just me personal preference but this is personal preference and a lot of people actually do like final cuts color system more than they do adobe so i mean hey no judgment here oh yeah man that was definitely a mouthful but all right you guys definitely hope i helped some of you guys out when it comes to finding the best video editing software for other youtubers making your youtube videos remember that imovie and final cut pro x is only for apple computers while adobe's products are for windows and apple computers i would recommend any of these products because i personally have used all of these products the thing is that you should do your due diligence and practice on each one to where you can find your personal preference on which one you like more do you like final cut pro's color system do you like adobe's color system do you like the way adobe makes your footage look do you like the way final cut makes your footage look do you like do you like the titles and all the editing features that they have in each one of them you have to do your due diligence and you have to make sure that you find out which one is best for you as far as which programs should be used for beginners i would say that imovie is definitely the top one on my list and i say that because final cut pro x and adobe's premiere pro are a little bit more advanced Advanced and they really they really need somebody with a more advanced mindset to get into faster and if you were asking this entire video what program I use I really alternate between Final Cut Pro X and Adobe Premiere Pro because I have people that use Final Cut and I have people that use Premiere Pro and sometimes I alternate between Final Cut and Premiere Pro when it has to do with what project I'm doing and what I actually want to do with the video I'm trying to make so when I'm doing these YouTube videos I usually focus on Premiere Pro but there is some things in these videos that I actually go to Final Cut 4. But yes, beautiful people, if I provided you some value, make sure to let me know down there in the comments. And if you're feeling a little generous today, you know what I'm saying, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe down there by hitting that red button. My name is Brian Kennedy. I'm very hungry and I'll make sure to see you in the next one. So we out. Peace.